Day 258 on this carnivore diet documentary. I'm the carnivore dad, Paul Woolley. And today I'm talking about solutions for sleep issues on carnivore diet. So I've been suffering some recently. Uh, I didn't really realize it until a couple of weeks in, but my sleep had been, you know, on a downturn. It hasn't been like bad, but it's just been good and not great. And I'm looking for great constantly. I mean, it's the whole reason why I'm on this diet in the first place, right? So anyhow, you saw my previous video, I explained everything as to what I think is causing this, the exact uh, direction I was going with this. You can see that video here. I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that video after this one because in that video, I share the resources, the free resources that I use and that you can use in order to find solutions like this for yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact solution that is working for me. This is actually working out pretty great. I'm gonna go over exactly what it is here, some of the benefits how you can use this in order to improve your sleep. And um, we'll see where this goes going forward. So some of the, what I've been doing exactly so far is been supplementing electrolytes. The exact electrolytes, I'm gonna show you the exact cocktail that I build every night over the past several days that has improved my sleep drastically. The benefits though, the benefits have been great. So a couple of things about the benefits. Number one, improved sleep. Obviously that's the thing that I'm looking for, right? But that's not the only thing that I got. I got improved sleep. Last night I had a full, eight hours of sleep. I went to bed super early, like 8 p.m., about the same time as my kids. Woke up at 4 a.m. and I'm feeling great, I'm feeling refreshed. I had super vivid dreams that I can still remember to, you know, to right now even. Not the kind that you just forget shortly after you wake up, but super vivid dreams, which tells me I was sleeping quite deeply. Uh, I'm noticing that I'm requiring less food to satiate my hunger, right? Previously, without the electrolyte supplementation, I noticed that I get really hunger, hungry, and I don't know if that was my blood sugar just, just getting weird on me, or you know whatever hormone imbalances may be caused by heightened cortisol, which from what I've read is one of the things that happens when you have bad sleep or you don't have that great sleep. You know, So one of the supplements I'm taking is magnesium, not one of the three, is magnesium. And it's supposed to calm you, right? It's sort of a diffuse excess cortisol from in the brain, or at least this is what I've learned from Dr. Berg watching his videos. So um, improve sleep, less food required by my body. My body feels more fluid and more, I guess, mobile, you can say, not as tight and restricted, right? Um, and that, that kind of is in alignment with the other thing that I feel is just far more calm and emotionally composed. With everyone in life, especially important with my kids. You know, if you have little kids, like I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, and you know, they're fun, and they're creative, and they get crazy and whatnot. And sometimes it just gets a little bit much for me. It, it kind of throws me off. So I really need to compose myself. And being more emotionally composed allows me to be a better dad for them, at least what I picture as a better dad for them. So that's been super good for me. Um, I notice also my weight tends to be lower when I get a full night's sleep. So supplementing electrolytes helps me get more sleep. Therefore, you know, helps me potentially to lose more weight. Right? So I notice my weight declines when I get a full solid night of sleep. Um, and maybe that has to do with the less food required to satiate my hunger, I'm not sure. So we'll see going forward though. There'll definitely be more updates in this multi-part series as I go ahead and test more of these things. So the cocktail that I made, right? Take a mason jar, just like this, fill it with water. I take this magnesium. And the only reason I use this magnesium is because it was li in liquid form and this was sitting in my old supplement closet. It's a couple of years old, but it's not past its best buy date. Uh, so it's still, I guess, good, so to speak. And I'm running very, very low on it, so I probably have to refill. But this liquid I I ionic trace magnesium is the one that I started using. I actually ordered a different magnesium and a couple of other supplements that I'm going to test. These are per Andrew Huberman's um, suggestion which I covered again in the last video again if you didn't see the last video go here right that's where the last video will be with the free resources you can use to hack this sort of stuff and uh some regular salt or Redmond's real salt I wouldn't call it regular but Redmond's salt so sodium magnesium oh and this I don't think I showed this yet cream of tartar potassium right so I'm taking a tiny little quarter tablespoon a quarter teaspoon here the smallest one of the bunch and I take uh, one scoop of Redmond's, I take two scoops of cream of tartar, which is again potassium, and four droppers full, so four milli milliliters, I think, four mLs, whatever this dropper is in here, of this stuff. 
ionic magnesium, mix it up in here. And I take it, uh, the, the best time I've found to take it is two hours before bedtime I start drinking and I sort of pace myself all the way up until about half an hour before bed. And that, give me, that gives me the best sleep. When I first started taking this, I started taking it throughout the entire day, from the beginning of the day all the way through. And it actually made me feel more calm and more composed throughout the day, right? So it was great. The one thing that I haven't tried yet is I haven't, I haven't exercised in, at intensity for the past week. So I've been pretty, you know, chill. I haven't exercised at intensity, which I thought was one of the reasons that was causing me potentially an electrolyte deficiency because my lack of, or my lack of good sleep correlated very much with the timing of when I started exercising at intensity about a month ago. So we'll see though. We'll see because today I'm planning on doing a workout. I'm going to go over, do a workout at the gym, and then we'll see how well I sleep tonight. And then I'll also see how well those new supplements that I ordered, they should be in, in a couple of days, maybe a week from Amazon. I live in Hawaii. And then we'll see how those supplements go. So for the next video, part three, you'll see it here. I'll cover exercise and how the exercise affected me taking all these different supplements, you know, this cocktail here, as well as the new supplements that I cover if I get those new supplements in time. If not, there will be a fourth video in this multi-part series. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm going to cut this off to make these as short as possible. Thank you. I appreciate you.